Managing portal users is a straightforward process and can be managed from within Portal Console Setup. Navigate to Portal Console, then Portal Console Setup, and then Manage Users. Whilst it looks like there's a lot going on here, these menu items are really just a way of sorting your portal users into different groups. Remember that this whole section is about adding, removing, and approving users. We'll go through all of these in this video. If I click on All, you'll see options to search for a user by name, to create a new user, and to export your users as an Excel spreadsheet. Then down here, there's a list of users that seemingly goes on forever. To manually add a new user to the list, click here and fill in the appropriate details. Note you can add a parent, student, or mentor. Now let's take a look at just the students, and then focus on this first one. You'll note that I can edit the portal username, but that's about it, because this student is sourced from the school's data layer. In order to use Portal, a student must be linked to a student account, and you can see that link here, although you can also remove the link by clicking here. If the student had a password, I could reset it here, and likewise, I can deactivate the student from Portal by clicking this button. To see all students who are not linked, you can click on this menu. The same functionality applies for parents using Portal under this menu here. Note the options to edit, manage the password, and deactivate the user. If you're looking for a list of deactivated accounts, you can find them all listed under this menu. To reactivate an account, simply click this button. If your school has elected to manually approve all portal registrations, they will appear here. You can review the registration details here, and then choose to approve or remove the user by first checking the box, and then clicking the appropriate option.